And do you like making them with clay? Yep, I certainly do. Because this is a different type of clay, right? It is. I sculpt it. Chris has sort of tapped into that sort of fleshy quality of ceramic. You can't deny there's some sort of voyeuristic element to it as well. I'm, I haven't had that conversation with Chris, I'm not sure. Quite often he draws upon two-dimensional imagery and turns it into three-dimensional imagery. So his sense of volumes and his way of sort of building those bodies like inherently tactile, it's taking something flat and making it quite robust and three-dimensional. And that takes a lot of control and ability to actually extract that from the material. You can look at those works and say, okay, there's obviously this relationship to someone like Rubens or there's this relationship to Renoir or um, Rodin and there's all these things about the body and he's obviously interested in flesh. And with Chris, there's no holding back. In these female bodies, he's actually articulating something that perhaps an artist who went to art school and is taught certain sort of rules, they can't approach it or they have to approach it in a very politically correct, very careful way. Whereas Chris just sort of is out there saying, this is what I'm interested in. Look at these bodies. I find them amazing and I find them compelling. And I think that's the great thing about his work. Chris's work being in the collection of major institutions like the NGV and the National Gallery of Australia, it broadens the context of what contemporary art might be in Australia. Four of my artworks recently got sold at the 1883 Sydney Spring. I'm very creative and I'm doing a habitat base for a snake. And I made the snakes from real snake skin because it's been given to me from the zoo. You got a couple of donuts in the hand, Halloween type ones, and a hamburger and chips. Increasingly more curators and institutions want to work with Chris. That's the important thing about what he's doing amongst his peers here at Arts Project.